hello friends welcome back in my youtube channel so friends in this video i am going to teach you how to create a new virtual machine so you will see vmware workstation 16 pro already installed in my base machine and if you want to create a new virtual machine first of all you have to create a one folder where where all the vmware database will be stored so i am going to create one folder and folder name is windows server 2016 okay this is location is e drive now you can see vmware workstation already installed just double click on this uh, icon now if you want to create a virtual machine there is two options first create a new virtual machine you have to click single okay the wizard will be open and second option is in go to the file and select new virtual machine okay the first wizard welcome to the new virtual machine wizard will be open you have to select typical okay and just click on next now friends there is two steps installation disk if you want to boot the windows server 2016 from dvd drive you have to select first option and if you want to deploy by the help of iso image you have to select second option so in my lab i want to deploy windows server 2016 by ISO image to so select second option and go to the browser and select ISO image of 16 server now my 16 server is already downloaded in C drive in ISO folder and go to the 16 folder uh, windows server 2016 folder and select the ISO image and just click on open now ISO is selected and click on I will install the operating system later and just single click on next now you have to select guest operating system obviously microsoft windows has made the windows server 2016 you have to select and select your version operating system version so in my lab i want to select windows server 2016 in version option and just single click on next now friends you have to type your virtual machine name my virtual machine name is windows server 2016 if you want to change you have to change this and this is the by default location if you want to change your location path just click on browse and go to a drive and select your folder and just click on ok now your new virtual machine will be stored on that location just click on next and those friends this is the by default disk size if you want to increase your disk size you have to type i want to 100 gb size of the hard drive ok just click on next and just click on finish now virtual machine has been configured if you want to change anything you have to just click on edit virtual machine settings and if you want if you want to increase your memory you have to select increase your memory by default it's take taken uh, a 2 gb ram and if you if you have some, some uh, more ram you have to increase so i am going to select 4 gb ram on that virtual machine and if you have more processor you have to select your processor okay this is 100 gb size of your hard drive and select cd dvd sata and select use iso image file go to the browse and select c drive option go to the iso folder and select windows 2016 folder and select to iso image again and click on open now iso, ISO image has been selected and friends go to the network adopter and select bridge option and go to the display options advanced and select in firmware type select bios and just click on ok now friends your virtual machine has been configured done in vim workstation if everything is okay then click on power on this virtual machine now friends you will see the setup is loading now friend that is the first wizard you have to select on next if you want to change language time and currency format keyboard you have to select them 
otherwise if everything is okay then click on next and just click on install now the window setup is starting now friends you have to select your operating system which you want to install you can see first and third option is a core edition and if you want to install graphically mode you have to select second and fourth option because desktop experience is a graphical mode operating system so i'm going to select second option windows server 2016 standard evolution desktop experience and just click on next and friends you have to select you have to check mark i accept the license terms and click on next and friends this is the option if you have an existing operating system and want to upgrade you have to select first option and if you want to install fresh operating system on blank machine you have to select second option so in my lab that is a fresh operating system so i'm going to select custom option and friend that is a partition option if you want to create a partition then you have to click new option and create a partition but i want to install windows server 2016 in c drive so go to the next now friends your server is need to restart if you want to restart just click on restart now otherwise it will restart automatically now friends you have to type your administrator password and type reconfirm the password and if your password is done then click on finish now friends you have to log on your login your screen by the press of control alt and del button and type of type of your administrator account password now friends you can see the desktop uh, is appear and if you go to properties just click on this pc and go to the properties and here this is our windows edition configurations windows server 2016 standard evolution which i have already installed and our processor is intel r core tm i5 6th generation and we have selected 4 gb ram and our system 64 bit operating system and this is our host name and computer name and this machine is single work group and this uh, server is not activated from microsoft website okay thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day